Hey everybody, Travis here from Travis.media. I had a request to do a video on how to set up a local WordPress environment with MAMP, M-A-M-P. So I want to do that real quick. It shouldn't take too long. Um, the first step is to download MAMP. Type M-A-M-P in your Google search. And it should be the first one that comes up. Here it is, MAMP and MAMP Pro. I'm going to click that. I'm going to click download, which will download it for me, and then you need to install it. I already have it, so I'm not going to do that. Um, but once you have it, open it up, and you'll see this little screen here. Okay, the new version has a cloud feature. I used to like the preferences there, but uh, I guess the cloud has its perks. Um, anyway, so what you want to do first, you want to go to your wherever you want to create your uh, local WordPress build. For me, I'm just going to do it right here on the desktop. I'm going to go to a new folder and a local WordPress build. And you might want to put your client's name. You may want to put website's name, whatever you want to identify it with. So here's going to be my new website. It's going to be right here in this folder. All right, so my next step is I'm gonna go back to Google and I'm gonna type in WordPress install. Which will take me to a link that says download WordPress. And this is downloading your latest version, the latest version of WordPress. So I'm gonna click that. I'm gonna click download WordPress. And you see it going down here. I have slow internet, so it says it's gonna take one minute to download just nine megabytes so that's the way it is all right so once that's done you're going to open it up and unzip it by clicking on it all right so that's going to give me a folder called wordpress if you see right here let's uh get another view uh yeah so that's going to give me a folder called wordpress what we're going to do now is we're going to drag that entire folder right into our build. So here's my folder now on the home page. If I open it up, you're going to see a folder that says WordPress. All right, so now you have WordPress in the folder. So the next step is to point MAMP to that folder. So you're going to go up here to MAMP, Preferences, and you are going to go to Web Server. You're going to click this folder by document root and you're going to locate your folder. So I'm going to go desktop. I'm going to open local WordPress build. I'm going to click WordPress but not open it because I want to select the WordPress folder. So hit select and hit OK. And then start your servers. All right, so that's going to take me to the, um, I'm using localhost 8888. That's the map default. You can adjust that in the preferences where it says ports. Um, you can just set it to default. Mine's 8888. You can set it to whatever you want. Um, but you're going to end up at this screen. This is where you can access your database. But I'm going to go straight to my website. And when I do that, because I have a new WordPress install, it's going to go to the famous WordPress install setup. But before we do that, we have to create a database. So if you go to map, you go back to the screen, go to tools and PHP my admin, you're going to go up here to databases. You're gonna click, well actually don't click anything. Right here where it says create database, you're gonna name your database. So let's call it, um, local test site. You can call it it whatever you want um, and just hit create and you're going to see that created local test site there. Now we're going to go back to our WordPress setup and go continue to continue in English. All right and then um, they're going to need to know your database info which we just set up so hit let's go. Database name, what did we name it? We named it local test site local underscore test underscore site username let's just put root password root 
leave your database host localhost and table prefix leave it wp underscore now hit submit and what this is going to do this install is going to install wordpress and set up your database so all you had to do was create the database you don't have to do anything else it the wordpress install does it for you so i'm going to hit run the installation All right, so my local site, what's the site title? Let's say, um, I, I, I don't know, I'm just gonna put test site. Uh, username, you can make this whatever you want if you wanna log in, log out. I'm just gonna put root, password root, because I don't wanna put anything else. I'm gonna confirm that I have a weak password. Yes, sir, weak password. Your email, uh, I'm just gonna put um, travis.media at gmail.com and discourage search engines from indexing the site which they can index it because it's not on the internet it is on your computer but i click it anyway for a peace of mind and then i'm going to click install wordpress wordpress has been installed thank you and enjoy now i can hit login i'm going to put root and password root login and it's going to have by default the um 2017 WordPress theme, I believe. You can check it right here and see. So appearance themes, yeah, 2017. And if we look at our site, it's the basic WordPress site. And that's all. You now have a from scratch WordPress site that you can build on um, for your clients and for whatever other purposes you have. Now, remember your folder we created is on the desktop. So I. I could open this, I could open WordPress, um, I could go WP content and themes, and then I can drag in uh, something like the Genesis framework or a theme that you've already been working on. I could drag that in and use that instead. Um, plugins, everything else is gonna work like you normally see it. So that's it, that's all there is to it with MAMP. Let me know if you have any questions.